Germany still offered generous peace terms. Kaiser Wilhelm was ready to just call off the war and return to how things were before. That was when the Zionist Jews, Chaim Wiseman and Nathan Sokolov approached the British with a dirty deal. They offered to use their global influence to bring the US into the war on Britain's side while undermining and destroying Germany from within. In exchange for US entry, the British would steal Palestine from Ottoman Turkey, which was Germany's ally, and then allow the Jews to settle there. The deal was called the Balfour Declaration and was delivered to the Baron Walter Rothschild. Jews in London then sent messages to Louis Brandei, one of the Jewish members of the Supreme Court, instructing him to pressure President Wilson to join the war. Other Zionist power brokers such as Bernard Baruch, Paul Warburg and Jacob Schiff also pressured America to join. The British government agreed that they would support a Jewish homeland in Palestine in exchange for the powerful Jewish lobby in America getting the USA to join the Allies. British airplanes dropped leaflets over Germany printed in Yiddish. The Balfour leaflets to win Jewish support in Germany by promising the Jew 